You know, when the Clippers made the trade for the three acquisitions that they have now, no one really knew exactly what they would do or how good they would play or what they would be able to bring to the Clippers. It was all just speculation because these players are role players in other situations prior to coming to the Clippers where they did fairly well, and where they were doing OK. But at the same time, when you translate that and put them on a team that's, you know, running for a championship, that's when the pressure and everything comes with it. And that's when. Everything has to be sharper, more concise in how you play on the court and, you know, how you execute plays and, and play at the highest level possible. Because when you're trying to win a championship, that's what it's all about. And that's something hard to do for a lot of players. So um, either way, you know, the debut, I spoke on that. But now. Kawhi Leonard is speaking on, you know, the new acquisitions and giving his reaction to how they played and what he thinks of them and what he can, you know, what he thinks they can bring. And, you know, in talking about that, of course, you could check out a few sources there. You can always, you know, check out Yahoo Sports, Sports Illustrated, either one. You can definitely check it out. But Kawhi Leonard was basically saying, you know, that the young players and how they came in and how they played. He was basically giving his uh basically a synopsis on, you know, their first game that they played. And, you know, he was basically giving a, a thought process on against the Warriors. They played against the Warriors. That was the first game. And he basically gave a synopsis on how they played. And, you know, he liked how Bones Highland you know, came in, stayed aggressive. He really liked how all three of them came in and came in with the aggressiveness, you know, straight to the straight, straight, straight. When they came in the game, they had aggressiveness and they, it's almost like they knew exactly what their role was and like how, how and they, they play their role to, you know, perfection in regards to coming in there and making an impact very early and letting it be known that they're, they're, they're there to be productive and make an impact every time they step on the floor. And that's what Kawhi Leonard liked. I mean, Kawhi Leonard liked how Bones pushed the ball, as he said. You know, it was a uh, fast tempo. Anytime uh, the, other, the opposing team misses a shot, you know, um, up-tempo the ball, you know, move the ball down the court before the defense gets set. And, you know, make plays and score. And um, that's something that Kawhi Leonard talked about that he liked with Bones Highland and Eric Gordon, the way they were doing it, the way Eric Gordon could stretch the floor and actually shoot. You know, um, that's definitely a plus for the Clippers because now they got somebody who can shoot the ball. And, you know, underratedly, Aaron, Eric Gordon really can defend pretty decently well. You know, he's not like a great defender or anything like that, but he's a very underrated defender at times because he's very crafty when it comes to defending. I've seen him go out there and, you know, uh, several possessions. I've seen him go out there, get a couple steals, you know, maybe not lock somebody up defensively, but I mean, you know, call some turnovers and make their job hard, you know, on um on, on offense. You know, I've seen Eric Gordon do that. Now, this is some years ago when back when he was like on the Clippers and maybe a couple years after that, but I think he still got some of that left. And actually, you know, after, you know, what I saw actually in the Suns game that they played uh last night, um, you know, he really, you know, put a little bit of defense on Devin Booker, you know. So there again, or at least at times in the games, he put a little defense on Devin Booker. So my point is, like I said, he's underrated defensively and um he's gonna make some plays, you know, quietly and we're nobody really noticing. But I mean he definitely is a physical type, you know, guy and kind of stout, you know, type of guy. You know what I'm saying? So his present his his physical his physicality, along with his willingness to play defense, you know, definitely, you know, helps the Clippers. And he's definitely, you know, eager on the defensive end. He's just not the best defender in the world, of course. But, I mean, he's definitely eager on the defensive end. And I like that. And that's something that Kawhi Leonard noticed. And, you know, Kawhi Leonard also spoke about Mason Plumley and how, you know, he's definitely, you know, crashing the boards, being aggressive, and how he can make plays as a big man, you know, going to the basket. You know, uh, it was one play where... I believe actually you can look at the uh actually if you looked at the Suns game I believe there was one or two plays where uh well, excuse me the the Warriors game there was one or two plays where he goes to the paint and you know once he goes in he kicks it right out to the three point line and finds 
a wide open shooter because he gets double team. He gets trapped double team in the in the paint. So he kicks it out to a wide open three point shooter. And it was a really good pass from Mason Plumley from the paint out to the uh, perimeter. And I think it was to Marcus Morris and Marcus Morris knocked down the three easily. Or, or no, actually, I think it was the Bones Highland that he actually passed it to, you know, out of the paint and Bones knocked it down, which, you know, he can shoot threes at a pretty good clip, too, you know, as well. So um, he could score pretty good himself. So, I mean. It's, it's, you know, really their acquisitions really fit, you know, with them a lot. And I think that's the main thing. You know, when you look at the Clippers, you know, their acquisitions that they got, they may not be big names. As I said a few days ago, in my other video, which you can check out, but you know, their, their, their guys really fit with what they do. Mason Plumley, you know, he is a, a underrated offensive rebounder. He's a grinder. He knows how to, to push. You know, he knows how to, um, actually, you know, pass the ball really well to be a big man. I've actually seen him take the ball from one end of the court to the other end before and actually score as a big man. You know, I've actually seen him do that a few times, you know. So, uh, actually, you know, him handling the ball is not too bad. I think Mason Plumley actually was a point guard, like in high school or something like that, I believe, if my uh, memory serves me correct. So, I mean, he has un very, very underrated handling skills, not, you know, skills, of course, like, uh, you know, KD or somebody like that. But he's got underrated handling skills where he can take the ball from one end to the other end and make a good pass because he's a good passing big man he's just not a a a a big he's not a big time scorer he's not a big time scorer but he is a good passing big man and he can do all the little things that you need him to do and that's what I like about Mason Plumley. he's uh he's kind of like a Isaiah Hardenstein but of course I think he's a better version of what the Clippers had last year at Isaiah Hardenstein an upgraded version as well so I think the Clippers really you know what I'm saying got a plus on that one and um you know Bones I think they got a plus all the way around if Eric Gordon can play the way that he's been playing if he can you know, um, still knock down shots, which, which I see that he still can. I mean, the two games I've seen against Phoenix and the Warriors, he definitely, you know, is it's definitely is still a threat from the three point line as he was a few years ago. Um, they, they really got something there. And like I said, Bones, they can pretty much mold him to what exactly what they want him to be. And, um, you know, when you hear, you know, good things, like I was just, uh, talking about with Kawhi Leonard and how he's reacting to what they have. And Kawhi Leonard at the end of his statement, you know, what he was talking about when you read it on Sports Illustrated or Yahoo Sports, wherever you want to read it at, you know, he basically says he likes what they bring to the team. You know, he likes what he, he liked what he saw, you know, from them, you know, based off of, you know, the, the, the little minimal, uh, games that he's seen from them, but he liked what he's seeing and he liked what they bring to the table and they give them a different, you know, aspect of how they play. They give them a different, you know, atmosphere of how they play because, like I said, Bones could push it. You got a guy who can get more offensive rebounds unlike Zubak, somebody who's a little bit more aggressive than Zubak and somebody who can handle the ball and pass the ball a little bit better out the post than Zubak. And, you know, you, you got Eric Gordon who can come out there and drop 19, 20 points any game, any time. You know, Eric Gordon can handle the ball pretty well himself, even though he's a shooting guard. He can handle the ball himself. You got a good young point guard in Bones Highland who can uh, really, you know, stretch the floor with his uh, perimeter shooting. And he he's really fast. I mean, he is blazing fast, I think. You know, I, I've I've seen him, you know, turn the corner on guys. And I mean, he just leave them in the wind. Like they, they don't even have a chance. Like they're not even they're not even near him once he turns the corner i mean he's already at the rim with you know one one good stride you know from the perimeter going to the basket so i mean that says a lot about his game and what he can do off the dribble that that's kind of like what they would have had in john wall the speed wise but bones could shoot better than john wall so that makes him more valuable and much better more uh, more of an asset to the clippers rather than what john wall was which is the reason why john wall is not there and you know, then on top of that, as I said, you know, they, 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 they just fit well with the Clippers. They fit well with what the Clippers are trying to do. And I think, you know, Kawhi Leonard sees that. Even Paul George have commented on, commented on them as well, you know, but, um, if Kawhi approves it, then I mean, they, they there has to be a, a lot of good with them. And, um, if that's, if that's the, the notion, then I think, you know, the Clippers have definitely, you know, uh, 
definitely got some good pieces, got some solid pieces. And I think that, you know, they these guys can actually help the Clippers in the playoffs because I think they actually, for some reason, I feel like they make the Clippers offense a little bit more well-rounded um, offensively and defensively, really. So, I mean, the Clippers already had enough depth. Now they got the right type of depth on their team. And if they decide to add somebody else, it's only going to additionally make them better, I believe, after All-Star break. So, you know, listen to these comments by Kawhi and seeing what I've seen so far from this team. I can't wait to see them after All-Star break and see them take their last 20 plus games and see what they do and see if they make the best of it because I like what they have so far and what they brought in and um, I think it might work. But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Also, hit the notification bell so you get the newest content if you haven't already. And hey, till next time.